Hey guys, this is Green HX here, and we are opening up the Razer Nabu. It's a wearable, and it connects to your, um, you know, iPhone or my, my iPhone, or you can have an Android. It connects to it too, and it displays little images on the, you know, you know, the screen, everything, you know, fitness and whatever, Twitter, Facebook, you know, little. The best thing and the reason why I got this is not just because, you know, I'll show you the app later in this video of, um, you know, how the app works and everything. But I like to be woken up with, uh, you know, a wristwatch vibration, I think, rather than an alarm. And it comes with this um, thing at the top. So, um, you can see if it fits. I got the large and medium one. So, yeah, this is the outside of the box. I'm going to cut the video now, and you'll see me opening it, like, or the inside soon. So, yeah. Raise and Abu, very cool. I'm so glad I got it. Live smarter. You know, it seems to have a lot of future apps in the future. It's kind of small right now. But finally, it's out for the public to buy, so I thought I'd get one early. So, yeah. Now I see how to open it. It's actually just a pull tab right here. Okay, give me a second. This tape. Here we go. Getting the tape now. So, that's all. You just put this up. Nice. Little box. Razor Nabu. Black box with the razor symbol on it. Not sure how to open it though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I thought I figured it out. Ugh. This is not. It's supposed to be easy. Wait. It's not easier with one hand though. I don't want to break it. Wait, does this slide out? Oh, it does. Okay, it slides a certain way. Here we go, guys. Check it out. It slides like that. Whoa. Oh, like a watch. Okay, so it opens up like a watch. That makes sense. Then all the wires and everything down here, they just slide out. So that's neat. Yep, got the charge, uh, recharger, um, ener energy cable, whatever. You plug into the USB or whatever to charge it. We got instruction booklets, a sticker for your car or whatever, your laptop. But this is the wearable itself. Very light, actually. I thought it'd be heavier, but okay, cool. Easy for you to wear. Some tape on the top that we can get off but yeah I'm gonna get this working soon guys and the rest of the video will be like the software and everything it actually working so that's what it looks like out of the box thanks for watching guys hey guys this is green HX here and we're playing well we're not playing anything well I got the um, Nab Nabu smartwatch that's pretty cool you can download it at the App Store and yeah it's pretty cool you're supposed to download it when you buy it so I actually bought it Early in this video, I showed it to you guys, and I'm using a Roboto microphone to record my actions. So, cool. So this is a guide to wear the smart band. I already set it up, kinda. It gives you like a four number code, and then that happens. Okay. If scan irritation occurs, remove the device immediately. Okay. So we're gonna put this on then. It was charging right now, but um, I'm gonna put the smart band on right now. Just how they're telling me. Oops. And it is now around my wrist. Sorry, it's so boring. Cause you can't see it. Next. So I get notified when I get a call or anything. That's good. Set goals, okay. Clean it, okay. You know, take care of it. Dry it when it gets wet. It's splash proof, but you know, it's not waterproof, guys. Okay, cool. Ready to go. So, I got how many steps I walked. I'm gonna take a few steps right now and see if it like live updates. That'd be really cool. So, it doesn't live update. <laughs> wait, wait.
Do I have to like set something up? Oh, it did. It did move. Oh my god! It just it read my steps. That's so cool. Oh my god! It's reading my steps. Wow! I can't wait till it like reads like how much I sleep. And, like I got this so um it'll wake me up with a you know like discreet like vibration on my arm. And um yeah. And you can just read this for facts and stuff. Is it waterproof? How do I charge it? So guys, this is charging cable that comes with it. It's a USB thing. So I showed you guys that. How does it track your sleep? Yeah, how does it do that? During automatic sleep mode. Then it records each minute your body's at rest. Wow. That's cool. I'm really glad I got this then. Okay. Best impulse buy ever. But I gotta really try it out for a while before I give you guys a review. But it looks really cool. You can set goals for how many steps you take. That's nice. I'm starting to get used to the dashboard and everything. Wow, okay. Nice devices. Oh, okay. I have a... Well, I got a Razer Nabu X. It's not as good as this one, but it came free when I bought this, so that's cool. So I'll probably sync it up with this, too. Yeah, that's about it. So that's it for the... um software and everything you can sign off it actually clicks to your um what is it your razor account or whatever so mine i have a razor account and it's connected so that's cool and you can send feedback and cool so that's the app guys very cool yeah i keep it over here but yeah because i'm not going to buy an apple watch that's too much money and this was only a hundred dollars and it does what i need it to do it wakes me up in the morning yeah but I'll let you, I'll actually do a review, guys, later. So, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys, this is Green HX here, and we are still looking at the Razer Nabu. I've had it for, oh, okay, see? I just got a message on it. So, that's perfect. So, um, let me show you guys something really cool. So, this is the, I've had the Nabu for about two weeks now, so I know exactly how it works and everything. I know all the ups and downs about it and the best things about it and everything. So I'm going to put it on right now and well, I will tell you a few things that I like about this watch and things I don't like about this watch. So I just got a message, it scrolls across. Okay. So, um, you just. To get rid of the messages, I have it on, so I shake my wrist. And I was having trouble at first, you know, the message wasn't going away when I shook my wrist. You have to have your hand at a, you know, like a shaking position. Like, you know, like vertical, like a karate chop. And you, when you get the message, while it's scrolling, you do a karate chop shake. And it gets rid of the message. See, we're back at the time again. And the message does not come up anymore. So while the, um, so while the message is scrolling, you shake like this. And not like this. I, I know people were saying, like, oh... It doesn't go away when I shake it. You don't shake it like this, guys. You gotta shake it like this, like a karate chop, easily. So you don't have to shake your arm off to get rid of the message. So, um, that's cool. And you can also, you know, set it so you just press it again to get rid of the message. So that's helpful. So yeah, that was like Wikipedia telling me to donate right there. Um, so yeah, that worked out pretty well. So we got that. That's what I like about it. Another thing is, when you get out of range of your cell phone it actually, you know, vibrates and says, lost connection, so you, I can't lose my cell phone now. Literally, if I have this on and it's charged, I'm going to know when I left my cell phone somewhere, and it's happened so many times. I lose my cell phone all the time. I leave it places. It's just, that's just my thing. I lose stuff. But with this, well, I might lose this, but, like, having this on, you don't lose it. It's on your wrist. So I'll never lose my phone while I have this charged. So that's really a plus that they don't talk about um, when it comes to the Razor Nabu. So that's one more plus. Another thing is a remote control feature that was implemented the day I got it, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can press this a bunch of times, and then when you get to the, where is it? Remote control. Oh, they only have a stopwatch. But you, have, you can set it to have the remote control. Another thing, another, another problem is um, for the two weeks that I've had this, it like disconnects from your like wristwatch like you know like you have to set it up again i've had to set it up twice in two weeks which isn't bad but i shouldn't have to set it up more than once ever so that's pretty annoying like i'm trying to do this video right now but i have to set it up one more time so this might be the third time i have to set it up um and it just happens randomly so you have your screen there i will show you guys um 
you know, like the software again after using it for two weeks. I have a profile picture now and um looks better. So um that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks um thanks for watching so far. Uh the remote control feature you can only skip songs or pause a video, which is pretty cool. But what was really the downer was pausing a video using one button. Like you have, you can't have all those three options at once. You can either pause a video using this, so you know you don't have to set it up on your phone more than once. Or you can make it so you can, you know, back a track instead of being able to pause the video or, you know, pause your music. So then this one button on here, it only makes you go back a song or, you know, replay the song. Or you can set it so that it goes to the next song. I know this is pretty new, so they're going to add new software and everything to make it better. But he, but um, what the big downer I hate about the that is that um, you can pause videos, which is cool, but you, it doesn't work with Chromecast. So you can't pause videos from this so you, to your Chromecast. I mean, like, it's not a big deal, but, like, that would be the only reason I would, like, use this remotely to pause videos, but whatever. It's cool. I like the product because I can't lose my phone, and that makes it so it pays for itself. I can't lose my phone, and I don't have to take out my phone to check a text message or anything. So that's pretty much it. I'll show the interface one more time after I've used it for, like, a week, and I'll show you guys how to set up the um, remote control feature right now. Hey Thanks for watching. Screen checks here, and we're going over the interface of the Razer Naboo. After using it for two weeks... I'm pretty used to it right now. You know how things work. And, you know, if you have any questions about the product, message me in the bottom, you know, in the comments section. Let me know if you have any questions. I know a little bit about the device now. I kind of like it. Anyway, guys, first part of this video, you can set your profile picture on the dashboard. You have your goals here. That's pretty neat. So I'm holding two swords because I like swords. And the anodized green because everything has to be green. Everything has to be green. Like, seriously. So, we'll go back to the dashboard, guys. And. But what I wanted to go over is actually um, some of the settings that I didn't go over last time. Well, early in the video, I guess. So. They have the do not disturb mode, etc., etc. You can read this yourself, and I have it to shake. So, like I said earlier, you can shake it or press the button. Um, the vibration can be low, medium, or high. Um, you can send a test message. So, by doing that, you can find your raise in that boo if it's kind of close, actually. So, yeah, that's nice. I just sent one to my raise in that boo. My wrist just started shaking. You had the sleep tracking, etc., alarms. But, um, yeah. That's pretty much it, guys. Oh, we're, I'm trying to find the, um, what's it called? Remote settings? Huh. I don't know. I had it, like, a second ago. Oh, yeah, you can even change the clock style. Wrist placement on the, I like it on the left wrist. But, you know, like I was saying, it disconnects, like, you know, like, it doesn't recognize your, um, Naboo, like... This happened to me three times, well, no, no, two times in the past two weeks. So you have to like redo the wrist placement each time because I like it on my left wrist. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. You customize the display settings. Oh, I found it. I know where it is. How to get to that? That's weird. Okay, so here it is. Remote control. I have that off. For some reason, every time the, it resets, it turns off. So let me talk to you about the um, remote control feature. Like I was saying earlier. Oh, they even okay, cool. It like resets, so it's just gonna tell you now. So here is um, how to use the remote control. You can either have it so it um, controls your um, music or videos, so it goes to the next video or the next music. I don't know if it works for videos, but I I know you can pause videos for sure. Yep, remote, phone remote, yep, mm -hmm. but it does not work with the Google, Google um, Chromecast, sadly, so you can't pause your videos from afar. You can also snap photos from afar, but I wouldn't, I, I don't see why I would do that. I guess you could set up the phone and make a, take a picture of yourself, but y your hands will be, I guess it would work, yeah, whatever. So that's interesting. You can change the order of where these come in, so, um... I want the phone remote to be at the top, so it's the first thing I see. Can you change it? 
I did in the past. I don't know why it's not working. Oh well, guys. That's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you that they have the remote control now, and I've been using this for a while, and I kind of better understand it, I would say. So, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you have a great day, and this is my review of the Razer Naboo. Wow, clicking display settings. Okay, never mind. I clicked the wrong thing. This is my review of the Razer yeah, Razer Naboo. Very cool device. Would I recommend buying it? Uh, if you don't want to lose your phone, if you lose stuff easily, yeah, I, I would get it. I would definitely get it. But other than that, no, I, I just don't see why anyone would get this. And I think I've been pressing the screen and nothing's happening, so I think it's broken. So, I mean, like, it's a pretty new product. So you can't expect it to be perfect. I mean, it's not new new, but, like, people are working on it to make new things for it. It's going to be pretty big one day. Hopefully. But, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. And I am going to try and quickly see if I can do what I was doing before. Change the, um, activities around. Yeah, here we go. It wasn't working before. It was lagging before. I want the remote control first. So now, quickly I can access my remote control without, like, you know, like, pressing the button more than twice to get past the clock. You know what I mean? Because the clock is always first. So you put what's more, most important to you, because I don't really care about active minutes that's at the bottom. I guess distance is pretty nice, and um, steps is kind of important. So yeah, my main goal is steps, and you even have a stopwatch here, so you don't have to pull out your phone for your stopwatch. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. This is Green HX out.